And Summy is trying to get a little bit of intel, but only has the classic by his side. Mm. And Mitch with that Spectre kicking things off as he did in the pistol. Stinger up close in 10, as you said. Definitely a player to watch out for in terms of fragging potential. Right Randy Savage gets splattered, and it feels like it should be going the way of Cloudvine again, as we expected to see come in. Yeah, it's worth knowing that Tint is going to be on the arena this time. This is an agent he's really been phasing in over the last couple of months after being primarily just playing like Jet for the most part and then some Rays. Uh, you know, Reyna's fault line through. No one is tagged in the process. But again, remember, this is a bonus for Cloud9. Renegades have got to get their teeth and sink it into this round. Gotta keep that economy down. Oh, the boom bot destroying Shinobi. Had two players to contend with as well. Pink shells are out. Forces tens back a little bit more. He had the one player with the rifle, and now he is the last player alive. Still all of his HP intact. Headshot comes through. Gets two kills, which is really impressive. Been through the B rafters and the B tower. Mitch, though, playing up on the rafters itself. There's flash points and all kinds of flashes being expended, but it really not at that much cost of life. Shinobi, Phantom into the head of Retro. And now two Sheriff wielding players remain. It's Bergy taking point for his team, walking over the corpses of his teammates, but they do at least have the spike under control. So this could catch a couple of Cloud9 in transition, but Mitch is having none of it and seems to realize where one resides there very well. Could be both, and he would be correct. Hand side, though, this could catch Relics off guard, but he doesn't get peaked. So he gets the ultimate orb and can just back away peacefully. Again, the first kill goes the way of Cloud9. And now the Rolling Thunder starts to chip into the side flashpoint alongside it. And Winsome is picking up all the pieces. Showstopper also picked up to try and fend off the defenders. Plenty of damage put to the CT as they look to try and push behind it. Winsome's not happy with just two. He wants more. He gets more onto Relics. And the swipe begins to get planted. Renegades have a 2v4 in their favor. Yeah, it's looking like Cloud9 are going to have a tough time cracking this egg open here. Only two agents left. They do have the alt on tens. If he's feeling it, he could pop the Empress, but he needs to find an opportunity first. He needs to get that first kill to give them that little bit of breathing room, and they will combine for one just now. But now tens all by his lonesome paranoia, stuck in the corner, does somehow still find a frag despite the near sight. This is a masterful tactic from Renegades, and Cloud9 have bit down hard, but can they stand their ground now that they've got the post plant? Because Mitch is in fine form, and he is delivering so many fatal blows, gets caught in reload, and Retro punishes him. They have low players, and Relics maybe can do a little bit of damage, trying to bypass the, the turret that rolls with the false sense of security, but Randy Savage with a 3k. And should also be mentioned, BP on low HP, maybe anticipating that there could be some utility firing his way, and the opportunistic peak nearly works out for him. Vice the meanwhile holds on, Retro gets pummeled. It will be a case of getting returned on though from Winsum, and now with those kills and the damage that's been inflicted, Renegades can start to push onto the site, and there's not too much defense there to fend them off. No, it really wasn't. No one was really playing the site. And again, you're seeing Renegades kind of using some of Cloud9's weapons against them, but hold the phone because that Rolling Thunder has done excellent work. Shinobi off the back of the Gee there with the From the Shadows makes it over to B, takes down the turret and puts the spike down. The problem is his support has been cut off at middle. Now he must clutch this alone, one versus three. That's full HP. Has one dark cover to play with. It has to come down to timing. Great headshot onto Relics, but now his position is compromised. They know exactly where Bergy resides. They have to cross, though, if they want to get to the spike. Oh my god, Bergy lines them up, knocks them down. Cloud9 have to scamper away, hope for the best. Will they get beat? They do with 10s alongside Mitch. Put down some serious vigor with their bullets. A barrage of them headed towards the garage, and no one left standing on Renegades. Barring Bergen, who's hot off the back of a great clutch and a very weakened teammate. So he starts to back away. And whereas last time he was able to reposition with the From the Shadows, he no longer possesses that and no longer possesses his life either. It's looking like Cloud9 will pick up the lead and bare minimum be even at half time. But they'll be looking to take with very quick positioning. It will be another post plant. This has happened so quickly though that you have to assume Cloud9 are going to have a ton of utility rolling thunder alongside the lockdown. 
have been counteracting one another. Paranoia is on point, but no one's there to pull it up. Who put that on the corner? Now Mitch gets up close and personal. Relics with two paint shells, and then the Phantom into the head of Retro. And another one as uh -oh. Randy Savage gets called, and Shinobi catches CP2 out here. And if it does, I'll kind of let you know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. To see if Renegades are fans of surprises. Cloud Watch Nine. for the almond smoke placement from Cloud9. If you see it towards wood, it's one up. Yep, here it is. Satchel put in. There's a satchel, but Retro, oh he my. knows exactly what's coming up. And he's having none of it. Tends those straight through with the Vandal taking his head off. Although Cloud9 now do have much better weaponry than their last round, they are falling apart at the scene. Vice Lord trying to put it back together again. He's stitching the kills together. He's connecting the dots, connecting headshots, and now CP2 on the flank may get the drop on the first of the weakened Vice, but he doesn't know where that second player is. Flashpoint comes out. Right idea, wrong time. Rotation's going to be a ways off, and Finn's doing a great job holding those eight players in place. Falling Thunder has been dispersed, and our Renegades realize that they are completely out of position. Relics alongside Shinobi get the entries that they were desperately looking for. And even One though time is of the essence, they put enough down to make this round theirs. Mitch is still alive. Somehow, someway, with the classic three bullets in the magazine, and they think out wins some. Who then gets sprayed out from Relics. Abilities that they can toss in. Lockdown. Rolling Thunder. Keep an eye out for these. Good fault line will allow them to take passage into the Raptors, into the Heaven area. And this is an area that Cloud9 have consistently looked to punish and consistently looked to get fights into. Tens will get the upper hand to win some. That's a huge pick. Indeed it is. That really gives Cloud9 that initial bit of space. They already basically have the A-bomb site under their possession. They just don't realize it yet. As Renegades are very much playing for the stack towards B and the retake option with their Rolling Thunder. The, from the shadows has been locked, but it got information for Cloud9 to go ahead and pounce here through B Heaven and even exchange, but still Cloud9 ahead overall. But Retro changes that with Jet, a great reaction. The great reaction that forces Cloud9 left. back again. They wanted to try and hit B via the rafters, via the tower. That tower has collapsed, it's been demolished. Mitch in the meanwhile gets tanked by the turrets. They now completely understand the situation, Renegades. But how is their aim? Can it step up to the mark? Mitch has been in some fine form. It was an absolute beast in the first half and has very much continued that. But the Rolling Thunder stuns them both down, locking them into position. It's about to fade though. And that ultimate's not going to do a great deal other than deny the plan. And they could be good enough just to win the round outright. No, he gets it in time, but it forces him away from the action, effectively separates it into two separate. It does keep the rest of the team, however, stuck on the beach side. Now they're starting to rotate in. Winsome tries to get aggressive, tries to get around the back of them. In the meanwhile, Lockdown and Showstopper have both been deployed. Spike has now been planted and they're relocating into better angles. Renegades have posted up so many Valiant attempts when it comes to post plants, but this should be a bridge too run. far. Cloud9 in great position, two players are low, and now it's Renegades turn. Randy Savage drops himself a lockdown. They're being stuck in position for the time being though, and how much is that lockdown realistically going to do? Because Vice and Relics are just perched up at the back of the site. They can just ring in with Assault Rifle Franks. It's the Vandals taking off their heads. And the Renegades, they popped so much on that potential retake, and it completely backfires. Yeah, that lockdown didn't really phase Cloud9 much at all. You were pretty much spot on. Much just yet, but as we can see, Cloud9 are starting to gear up all their players here, and he's going to soon find out what he's up against, and it'll be down to whether or not he can get a shot and get away and give his team an advantage. If they slow peek this though, he should be favorite to get the kill for Relic still takes his head off. Retro was there for so long. 30 seconds left. And how important could that moment be? This could be the beginning of the end. Renegades will be stuck at screens again. With Cloud9 getting up close from the shadows has been popped. Omen trying to get around the back. And as the spike gets planted, Alt line is good, but so is Vice's aim. Wins some now from the backside. He sprang them down, goes in for the defuse. Already half of it is done. He's going to stick on to this. He can keep going. No one oh. to deal with him, and he'll get the clutch single handedly. Oh, they just. Long, and they are not done showing off, it seems. Aggression up in the face. Wins some clearly feeling it. 
headshot delivered instantly. And this is where Mitch was a real nuisance and a real behemoth yeah. over on regulation for Cloud9. He was doing so much work. Top fragging for his team. It's a post plant. Cloud9 now starting to throw in their utility, try and fend away and force back the now defending attackers of Renegade to put their flag deep into the ground of B. Dark cover, holding a bit more ground. Vice gets picked off instantly, and Bergy then goes in for the headshot on Vice. So close. Aggression this time. Renegades will have to try and deal with a post plant on A, or will they win some again with two? This guy is in unreal form right now. Spike does get planted down though. Shinobi puts it into position. Bergy, his opposite omen, making moves through on the screens. Joined alongside Breach. How is your utility, Renegades? Can you get it on point? They look to push in. Dark covers, paranoia, it's being traded. C2 goes in for one. Bergy traded out, and it comes down to a one on one. Renegades could potentially take this. Relics hold his nerve. He has been spotted in this position, but still flicks in for the head to get to this point. Winsome has been a man on fire, banking the paint shells off the wall, but no one's home. They haven't quite pushed it just yet. Blue pop behind it, and now he peeks in, but there's so many players to deal with. Randy Savage, though, holds his nerve in sheets, getting two pretty clear, comfortable frags, and doing tons of damage to Relics, who has been top fragging in the last few rounds for Cloud9. Longer range incursion. Randy Savage goes in again. This time it's the flashpoint, but Tent comes straight in with the shotgun and riddles him with bullets. The buckshot will sting. Flashpoints being traded out. Dark cover tossed into the bottleneck and now Retro can try and play actively and our CP2 goes in. It's a 2v1. We'll see if it's good again this time. Feels like they've got a good read of it though, Cloud9. It was that player we mentioned before with Vice and the fault line. This time though, they do wait a little bit longer. Winsome in first. It's a two for two trade, but now Tens will take that equality and flush it down the toilet. 2v2 now falls upon us. Cloud9 have lost control over B, but they've kept Renegades honest. CP2 going in for the full plant, wins him alongside and Pink Shell off the wall. Won't be claiming the kill, but does a lot of damage to CP2. He's down to 41. Can't really afford to peek too often. And if he does, it needs to be a snappy headshot. Instead, he's on the receiving end of a battering. Clobbered down by Mitch. Who on the killjoy will be looking to go aggressive. Relics ah. gets caught, but Winsom misses his window of opportunity. Now they know exactly where he is. They can force him back. Had he have landed that headshot cleanly, it very well could have gone his way. And it's lonesome to defend this. Everyone else is still worried about a back hall's backstab. Now they're rotating in behind Relics, but Cloud9 are well and truly going to probably pounce on the safe site and be very successful unless this flank comes in fast enough from spawn. Randy Savage needs to pull off a miracle play, and Relix is having none of it. He dampens any potential magic. Bergy up in heaven, bypassing the fault line, and dealing with Mitch in the process. Post plant, three on three. Renegade have won so many of these. Fault line is excellent. And Retro making tons of noise. It's actually the aftershock that takes down Relix. What happened there? He was in amongst the smoke. I think he was completely caught off guard by that. And now Renegades have a golden opportunity to go straight for it again. Shinobi falls to the first hurdle. And it's Bergy with a 4K. Comes alive again. And Renegades continue to press forward. Yeah, I mean, I really... Their own heavy A attack, it seems. All five here. Cloud9 will at least push B lobby and kind of realize what's going on. Swarms. All the killjoy damage from Mitch. Two go his way. Randy Savage at least returns the favor. Relics now at the back of the side, changing his angles up, trying to stay alive as long as possible. But Randy Savage, he is just ripping straight through Cloud9. It's another one. It's a 3k. And it should be a map point to follow for Renegades. Vice is dodging, dipping, and darting past each and every ability that flies his way, but finally gets caught from the flash point. 
and with that alongside the lockdown, Randy Savage comes in with a 4K and give Renegades a map point of the order presence shown on Raptors. Great flash points got in from CP2 and Retro makes the most of them. Relics though through the box, comes in for one of its own and Vice goes back in, but Retro's picked up a 3K. Mitch though disperses him and it will be a post plant coming up. There is no way of denying this. Renegades at least get up close and personal though on the retake. Boombot straight out dealing with the underactive position, but Mitch straight through with the drive-by headshot. It's all down to Mitch against 33 HP. Winson who goes up close with the shotgun and actually neutralizes Mitch. Renegades will take first blood in this best of three. With three HP to spare to Vince, it doesn't get... Winson pushing with his bomb buddy. And that's why, anticipating at any close angle, they'll be forced to focus fire on the boom bot, allowing him to get the even trade. And now Cloud9, a player behind trying to use their sheriffs. Cloud Burst put in, using the dark cover to get up close. Will tens. And it should yield another spike plant, so at very least it keeps them ticking forward economically speaking. Whether they'll be able to hold on to the site is an entirely different matter altogether. Positions for Cloud9. Pretty decent, but as soon as these dark covers do start to fade, we're expecting to see the jaws clamp down, and they do so with style. Winsome doubles up with his paint shell, allows him to replenish it instantly, throws another one into a pretty standard explosive attack on B. Explosive attack is propagated by a flashpoint, but Randy Savage with the Spectre holds his nerve. Add some backup. Randy Savage apparently doesn't need any backup. He's the one man wrecking crew. It's a 4K and Winsome cleans up the rest and the Blade Storm. So they'll give them something to work with here as they look again to burst on the beat. Straight up. Oh caught. man. In the tripwire. That is so unfortunate. He's going to be furious at that outcome. CP2 though is going to go down to Relic's Frenzy who doubles up. Some aggression from Jet who tailwinds out of there. Now some weapons have been picked up and used against Cloud9, but Winsome with a beautiful paint Black shell puts it back into a 2 on 2 Relics has tripled up though with his Phantom, and now it's looking good for Cloud9. They need Burgi who landed some big, big clutches and some huge moments over on Split to strike again. And he's getting up close. He's going to fend off one of these angles for Cart Transition. And now it's Relics turn to... And across the finish line for Cloud9. That's a big opening kill, but at least Retro's quick to respond. Randy Savage comes in as a reinforcement, and they have won the Battle of B-Lobby. You can often see I little information exactly battles going on here. And this time, Renegades come out victorious, and they get a huge edge. A four on three, and the Neural Death will give them intel. Big kill, though, from Relics. Keeps it back to even, but he's low on health. Pot off the back of a 4K, just insta drills the head off. Does take a headshot himself, so he's down exceptionally low, but a three on three. Retake hasn't quite came into play just yet, and with this being stalled out, have a quick look, there are flanks coming in. Jet is getting around the back of Renegades. This is going to be a difficult one to hold on to, especially with low HP in the mix. Boombot tossed out, Bladestorm also comes into fruition. Retro wants to get up close, spotting onto Mitch, takes him down, Tailwind up, getting tagged out from the turret, allows them to know exactly where he is, and also slows him down a little bit more. But now that the Cloud Burst has been tossed to the back of the side, it will bundle these two defenders now of Cloud9 together. But they clump up and Vice comes out with a vengeance with authority with headshots. There's another one, but Bergy suppresses him. And Renegades, another six. Third save that Cloud9's had to have this half? Yeah, pretty so top heavy in terms of the spikes being planted. They got a bunch of spike plants at the start of the, the game. But in the last few rounds, it's been barren in that prospect. And not too many kills behind it either. Tens now going in aggressively. Lockdown from put down stuck in the cages. Tens and gets punished. Randy Savage with the headshot. You can now have tons of backup from the back halls. All of Renegade in close proximity, all are ready to fight. One player does get detained though, which will be Retro, but he's hiding in the cloud burst, keeping himself alive a little bit longer before Winsome perforates the wall, takes down Shinobi, Relic back in again. He did start off that 4K with the Frenzy. Their one lonely round that Cloud9 picked up, but a 3v3 post plant, Roman Terrell, and Vice gets it down. We'll see Bergy claim the first blood, rolling Thunder out, only landing one right of the three players and stunning them momentarily. 
minutes before Alex takes him out of the equation. And now he is the last man standing, but not for much longer. Randy Savage gives Renegades the 7 1 lead, and this is getting out of control. It is. I mean, they may not recover, but they're looking to do so with some aggression. They're looking to just shake it off. Mitch getting up close. Ten gets another one. This is more like it. But can they finally convert? Surely this time in a 3v5, they should be favorite to do so. Additionally, Bergie's taken a lot of damage, so he has to be careful about going back in again and re-engaging. Looking for the wall bangs, nothing really forthcoming. And it looks like Cloud9 likely will double up. Yeah, I mean, I remember last time I said they don't win this, then it's over. This one is was was even worse. Like they, they had to close this one down, and they will. Great little pounce onto A, looking more themselves, asserting themselves on the site quickly and efficiently at that, only losing one in the process here. Retro, still poking and prodding. Let's see if he can bring some weapons down and force some rebuying out of Cloud9 who do have a low economy. And he will be able to dash in and they actually pick all of them. It's only Mitch that will hold on to a rifle and even he won't, he's been phased by the spike and this is fight. It'll all be about whether or not they can hold off the retake as the spike will start getting planted. Randy gets past the paint shell. Can he break this back open? He Indeed he can. Showstopper is being picked Ooh. up and Randy Savage takes off the head of Relics just before he pulls the trigger. An even trade one for one, but will favor Renegade's dark cover put down towards main, fending off and isolating, segregating the two remaining Cloud9 players as Mitch feels compelled to go on aggressive before Winsome spins around and gets both of them. And yet they to only have 17 seconds to make a decision. They're making moves around B. Now getting up close, Fergie, one on one, gets left. traded out, but at least they avenge their fallen teammates. The satchel charge out, CP2 misses his chance, gets punished, and even though the spike has gone down, with four players remaining on Cloud9, it's looking good for a retake. Randy Savage, though, takes the head off of tens, looking to eviscerate the oncoming Cloud9 players who are looking to pillage and sack the site once more. Playing on both sides, both the claustrophobic angle simultaneously. Sackle charge goes in, retro holds his nerve, as does Mitch. Successful retake, but it's another very close one. Sure. Definitely there were some chances there for Renegades to perhaps pull that off if they could have won a key duel or two. Going in again, Benson, and are going fast. Still have that Hunter's Fury. Win some in amongst all the cloud bursts. Is coming out with frags alongside Shinobi, who gets two of his own. Renegades, 2v3, faking the spike, trying to draw out. Ooh, one of those Cloud9 players into the open, but there are flashes coming in from the shadows. It's been popped to the other side of the map. It's on B, and Sova's still alive. This is winnable for Renegades. Cloud9 in trouble. Post plant, does Bergy take the aggression? He does, and he puts out the head of Relics. And with that kill, he can now move back into market, change up his angles, he goes down to the hand of Mitch. The Hunter's Fury still available, is now being popped, tries to stall it for as long as possible, anticipating a play is forthcoming as they stick onto the spike. The shots will not connect and- Spins having to break that. Oh, he lost his head though. Almost well trade, rolling thunder. Proceeding the push. Retro gets hit by it, but Bergie gets the damage done onto Relics. Business open on the A side of the map, and all three of Cloud9 clump together on the rafters. Oh, Dark man. cover in their eyes. Cage has also been popped just behind it. This is going to be a very difficult retake. The thing is that Rolling Thunder didn't do Jack Daly's squad for Cloud9, really. It stalled the, the, the plant, I guess, a little bit, but it's not here now, and they need it most to retake at a numbers at disadvantage. And now they're well and truly screwed. I think this is going to serious point. I don't know how they pulled this off in a three on five. They're trying to damn this though, Dust. They're going in for it now. They're going in for the defuse in a smoke, all the smoke, but it's been denied as are the rest of Cloud9. Uh this is for all the chips, all the marbles, the potential huge upsets on the cards, but not if Tens and Shinobi have something to say about it. Randy Savage in with one, make it two, and Cloud9 are being dispersed post haste. A cage triggered on top of the rafters allows Randy Savage the opportunity for spike plants. 
And now Cloud9 have got to battle back somehow, some way. Make this work. It's an even trade. Weiss and Bergy both chip in for frags, but now Relics, a man that was destructive on split, has got to try and clutch this one out. Two very separate angles to deal with. The isolation may not work for him, but the showstopper comes into play. Looking around Cubby, he's desperate for information, checking everywhere, but where CP2 